Hey folks, we're still cleaning seed at the Conservation Blueprint Shop and lots of comments and questions and likes have come in from our other videos. Keep them coming, we love the questions. And today we'll show you another species that we're cleaning here today. So today we're gonna to tell you a little bit about the complexities of cleaning late goldenrod, Solidago gigantea. And the reason that it's kind of challenging and complex is because this is a species that has 7.56 million seeds in a pound. And when you're talking about trying to clean seeds that small based on their size and their weight, it's challenging. Here is our seed test, came back with 31% purity. That is way lower than most things that we clean here, but not too bad for this species. A 90% germ, where we get a final PLS of 27.98. Again, really low for most things that we clean, but not too bad for a goldenrod. So, here we go, we gotta go to our guide, which is the recipe for every single species that we clean, every step in the process and what screens we use. Here's the example of what our late goldenrod looks like when it comes out of the field. And really everything that we pick is hand harvested. Here's an example of this one. This was clipped in the field. We generally like to use a Felco number two. And the very next step there where we have to take this product right here is we put it into a 3.35 millimeter screen. Pretty big opening on here. And really what we're looking to do is just put that product in there, rub it, and remove the leaves, the stems, and the sticks. And after it comes out of that screen, here's a big old tub of it and what it looks like. And when we examine it closer, there's still a little bit of sticks and stems and leaves in there. And there's a lot of seed, but it all still has the papyrus, the plume, the fluff, still attached to the seed. You can see it here really easily. And we want to try to separate that. So the very next thing that we do is we take it to a small screen a 0.925 millimeter screen. Really, really small opening, okay? And when we take that product and put it into this screen, the main thing that we're trying to do is we use lots of side-to-side -side motion, and we're just kind of trying to get rid of those leaves and the sticks and the stems. And when you look at what is coming through that screen, there it is, lots of seed that has had the papyrus kind of removed right off of it. So here's what it looks like after it comes through that screen. Very dusty, very fine, but the seed is in there, and now we have to make the magic happen by trying to separate that seed out. And the way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna bring it over to our handy dandy fractioning aspirator and we're going to take this product right here and we're going to put it into this opening this column it's going to come down into here we have an auger system right here and right here is where the magic happens in the fractioning aspirator where air is introduced into this system that will separate this seed by weight into tray one two three or four and if we take a look at trays three and four it's basically nothing but the papyrus, that plume, that fluff that has been knocked off of the seed, okay? No seed in there of any kind. In tray number two, this is not our final product, but there's still seed in here along with all kinds of other things. So tray number two is all collected and saved for later processing because we wanna get the seed out of here too. And all of our products, every single species that we clean, we save all the trash for every seed we clean, and that goes back out onto the landscape. But tray number one, here's what it looks like. And if we took a closer look at that, 
lots of really, really valuable seed in there. But remember, that's about a 31% purity. So here we go. This is what we start with. A three or four step process. And we get it all the way down to this. There it is, folks. Late goldenrod.